Hello and welcome to Batovia Academy's Learn RxJS training. This video shows how to combine the latest values of two RxJS observables with the combined latest operator. Specifically, we're going to be making this pay button here disabled until we've filled out the credit card form. Once I've filled it out completely, the pay button is no longer disabled. All we're going to be doing here is combining the error observables of each one of these form inputs into another value, which is the is card invalid uh, observable. So we're going to create an is card invalid observable that publishes true if either the card error, expiry error, or the CVC error are truthy. And we're going to do that by creating a is card invalid method that takes those observables and returns a new that is card invalid observable. So what this looks like is we're going to have a this is card invalid that is created by this is card invalid method and that will take the card error the expiry error and the CVC error so really what we're going to need to do is create this uh, is card invalid method and we're going to have to figure out how to disable this button while is card invalid is emitting a true. And it emits a false if the card is no longer invalid, and we should show this. Let's see what you need to know to solve this problem. The first thing is the combined latest operator. As I mentioned before, you can use a reducer pattern for a whole lot of things, but some of those patterns can be solved with other operators more simply. Specifically, if we wanted to do that first and last, if we wanted to take a first observable and a last observable and combine their latest emitted value into a new observable, well, combine latest does this. So in this example here, we have a first that emits Justin, then Ramya, and a last that emits Shaw, then Meyer. And here we have a combined latest that takes both of those observables and then a function to derive a new value which will be emitted by the resulting observable here, full name. So you'll notice that full name, if you subscribe to it, will have Justin Shaw, Ramya Shaw, Ramya Meyer. It's combining the latest emitted observable or latest emitted value with this function here. And you'll also notice that it needs both observables to emit at least one value. It doesn't write just in space undefined. It waits for both of the observables to have emitted a value. The other thing you need to know is how Angular allows you to specify properties or attributes that are live bound. So let's say we wanted a button to be disabled we can use this bracket syntax here to disable the, this button um, based on the value here. So that's it. That's all you really need to know. Pause the video now and uh, hope to see you solving me with this right now. So let's solve this. The first thing I'm going to do, I always like to start with what I really want as the output. So I'm actually going to start with disabling the button. So I'm going to disable this pay button here. And I want to disable it if the uh, is card invalid is true, then we want this to be disabled. And again, this is going to be observable, so it needs to use the async pipe to be able to actually read that value. I've already set up the isCart invalid function being called with the necessary source observables. Now I just have to implement the isCart invalid function. So 
So is card invalid? We'll take the card error, the expiry error, and the CVC error. And this is gonna use combine latest. Combine latest needs to be imported. Combine latest isn't actually a operator. It is a method. So it's not coming from the operator, it's coming, it's just a static method on RxJS. So now we have combine latest. So with combine latest, I'm going to pass it my obser source observables. And then it takes a function that gets those and derives the final result. So here, if any of those are true, we want to return true. So if you have a card error, the any card error, expiry error, CBC error, the card the card is invalid. So really, if any of these are truthy, then we're going to want to return true and to force it to be true, I'm using this not not, which essentially type courses, anything, if these are truthy strings, well, they'll just become Boolean uh, with this. So now that I've got all that working, I should be able to run my example. We see pay is disabled. And now I should be able to type a card number and see it become enabled. All right, we got it working. See you at the next exercise. Please like or subscribe.